Are you ready for a cocktail with fancy girl drinks? Then stay tuned then. drinks. Here on our channel, we feature new cocktail recipes, oldie but good, goodie cocktail recipes, party and family gathering events, and overall fancy lifestyle and entertainment. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, please stay tuned and check us out. If you like what you see, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That helps our channel to grow, and that way we can continue to upload videos weekly. So, today's featured drink is... We're going to make a tropical pina colada. We're going to celebrate our um, Virgo birthdays. Happy birthday, Virgos! Happy birthdays. Happy yeah. birthday to all the Virgos. Yeah, the Virgos birthday season is 8-23 to 9-22. So uh, we're helping you celebrate yes. with our tropical pina colada. Okay. So the zodiac power color is brown. brown. <laughs> <laughs> so all right, let's get started. We this is a blender drink, um, you know, pina colada, nice little summery drink. Yeah. So we're gonna add a, a cup of frozen pineapple. So speaking when, speaking of oldie but goodie, so this is an oldie but goodie. Uh, people have been drinking and enjoying pina coladas for decades, and it's still a popular drink. So, yeah. we're gonna, it's we're a gonna good summer drink. Oh, when you're on vacation, yeah. it's a good tropical yeah. drink. I don't know why, but for some reason, every time I'm on vacation, especially a tropical vacation, I don't know if it's because it's an ice, typically, it's a blended icy drink. But every single time I go on vacation, and if it's a hot tropical location, the first drink I order is always. A frozen pina colada. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Just goes hands in hand, I guess. So so I'm gonna put in six ounces of rum. This makes like you know four to six drinks, but for us it's gonna be two. <laughs> <laughs> one, one and a half to two for us. So, <laughs> so we got six ounces of white rum. All right, and then I have a cup of what is this? Cream cream of coconut. It looks like it's spoiled, but it's not because cream of coconut is kind of oily. Ooh, I hope not. I hope so. No, it, it's not. It's not. It's going to blend. Mm. But the thing about it is when you put it in a drink, because of the high coconut fat content, it does solidify. Oh, it separ separates. Yeah. yeah. So it looks okay. like it's no good. So when you blend it, you have to make sure you blend it well. Otherwise, you can have like little chunks of coconut fats. All right. So that's going to bring in our tropical coconut flavor. I have two cups of... Fresh pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Uh -huh. So we've got rum, we've got coconut. Pineapple juice. Pineapple juice. Cream to coconut. Cream to coconut. The frozen uh, pineapple. Frozen pineapple. Okay. Yeah, and so Ooh. I'm going to get some ice in there. We're going to bring this all up. Okay. So listen, our, let's talk about our traits. Okay. Our Virgo traits. Okay. All right, so I made a few notations here that Virgo traits are they need to feel useful. Okay. They have a quick fix for everything. Okay. They're judgmental, but with good intentions. Who's not judgmental, really? Right. They have to go under and decide. You have to go under and decide. All uh, right. So. They have a million ideas going per second. Hey, I could be a Virgo. Yeah, are you sure you're not a Virgo? <laughs> I could be. Because <laughs> I'm always thinking about something. Yeah. And so, you know, it's, it's like this little uh, joke that... A career for a Virgo, if it was such a career, would be a walking encyclopedia. Okay. Human GPS. That's interesting. <laughs> right. And uh, a one person welcome committee because, you know, the Virgos need to feel useful and they've got their hands in everything and they're busy. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to add some ice to this and we're going to blend it up. So our celebrity birthday, so celebrity Virgo is uh, Beyonce, Queen B. Queen B is a Virgo. Um, also Zendaya, Zendaya, the queen of fashion. I've been, I've been, I mean, I've been checking her out lately for the last few award shows, like really the last few years. And I mean from head to toe. When she gets dressed, 
she she incorporates the hair, jewelry, clothing, everything. She always has top-notch quality clothing and design. I don't know who her stylist is, but she always looks great. Um, I always I always try to compare and say who who has the most uh, who has the better style, Rihanna or Zendaya. So comment down below. Let me know your opinion if you like. Uh, Zendaya's style better. But is there like a big age difference between the two? So uh, I think the yeah, styles would be yeah, like slightly but, different. Yeah, that would be, but see, Rihanna's always been on the cutting edge and she's still edgy even uh, in her 30s. Mm -hmm. So I still, I don't know. I think, Zendaya's like her 20s? I think Zendaya's still in her 20s. Okay. But they have similar style, but um, I don't know. So anyway, comment down below. Let me know who you think is, um, is a little bit more edgier a little bit more on trend, a little bit more stylish, if that's possible, between Zendaya and Rihanna. So, right, okay, so we're gonna, gonna go. We're gonna blend this up. I hope I have it turned on. water inside. That's interesting. It's usual. I have so, too much liquid, so I'm going to take some of this out. There we go. So we covered these uh, celebrity birthdays for females. Male celebrities, um, Billy Porter, the queen of theater and film these days. So the, the super talented Billy Porter is a Virgo. And then I say the best for last. Idris Elba. Oh yeah, Mr. Sexy. Oh my gosh, he's, he's got to be the sexiest man alive, you know, besides my husband, of course. <laughs> I'm but, hoping for Idris. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, so, husband. <laughs> so, yeah, he's just been, and I don't know, the other night, we were watching television, and I don't know if it was a marathon with, with him or whatever, but I need to Google how many movies he's actually been in, because Idris... Idris, I always get his name screwed up. Sorry, sorry if you're watching this. I know you're watching uh, Idris. Sorry <laughs> that I, I screwed your name up. But anyway, um, it was just one night. It was movie after movie after movie. They had a marathon, I guess. It was three movies, movies I had never seen before and movies I didn't even know he was in. So I kept telling myself, I need to Google just to see how many roles he's had over the years. I mean, everything from, you know, comedy to action. And the newest, the latest movie that's coming out, I think at the end of this month, is called Beast. Hmm. But I, you know, I, I am a super fan, but I think they went a little too far. They got him fighting a lion. Come on now. Lion or tiger? Lion, lion tigers, or bears. He, <laughs> he, he, he is. Be I know, he's fighting with his bare hands. And so I'm looking forward to seeing this. But anyway, that's going to be interesting. I think it's called Beast. And it comes out at the end of the month, so have to look that make up. sure you check that out. It. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Where we at now? So, I'm going to add, this is a fresh coconut. This is a hairy critter right here. It's oh, considered yeah, it's full of fruit, of fruit a mm -hmm. seed, and a, a nut. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, all right. That's interesting. I've never opened a coconut before. Uh-oh. So now, if you, you were going live, yeah, I know. Live. If you wanted the, the coconut meat inside, you would open it differently. You would take a hammer and crack and crack, crack the shell, and then peel it off, and then take the coconut meat out of it. But we're just gonna take a little bit of the coconut water out of it to intensify our flavor. So you want a screwdriver? Now just go out in your uh, tool shed or toolbox and get a screwdriver. If you do, make sure you sanitize it. So we need a screwdriver. Let's see if I can coordinate this. You, I'm wrapping it in a mm. towel so it doesn't get away from me. A uh, hammer or a mallet. Oh, oh I'll show you gosh. on top here. You see those three little eyes? They're called <laughs> coconut eyes. See those three little spots right there? That's the coconut eyes. So that's what I'm aiming for. You want to... Oh, yeah. yeah, right here. You want to put a hole in two of the eyes so that the liquid can come out. Uh-oh, it's going in. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Live. Live on YouTube land. <laughs> Just give it a little twist to open up the hole some. Hope I get the screwdriver out. Okay. okay. Oh, here we go. I see the coconut milk. No. <laughs> well, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Please don't do that. Ooh, that one went in. That was a bigger eye. That's a nosy eye right there. Okay, let me see. You know, I've never noticed the eyes of a coconut. Yep. Yeah. You see that? 
Put that on the camera. Yep. That is open up the interesting. Holes. Yep. All right. Open up the eyes. So we're gonna put a little bit. Let's see. Oh, you can't Ooh. see. Ooh. You bring it over here. That looks exciting. <laughs> All right. I need a glass. I want to just taste. I don't know if I've ever tasted coconut water out straight from a um, coconut. I'm just curious. yeah. You have in know, Jamaica they just chop them up and, and drink it. it. I've seen yeah. that in Jamaica. They just it's an acquired taste. You know what I'm saying? You think it will be sweet, but it's not really sweet. Sweet. It's not sweet, but it's not bad. I, I, don't, I really don't know how to describe it. Now, the coconut is supposed to be full of protein. Well, the coconut is full of protein yeah. and fiber. Alrighty, thank you. All right. That's interesting. No wonder it's hydrating. I can see why it has the hydrating properties from and just the taste of it. And it says the coconut oil is supposed to reduce the belly fat, so I'll be cutting Oh, up. really? <laughs> I'll be cutting up all of those and yeah. chewing on them. Yeah. We can so spread that around. Coconut. Yeah, spread that around a little bit. Yeah, reduce some of that belly fat that we gained over the summer. All right, so let's blend this up again. Now, I have to say, your pina colada, and I guess it's because of all the um, fresh ingredients, fresh natural ingredients right. and, no, and no artificial ingredients, it looks a little different. They're normally white. They're normally white. Because they're using that pina colada mix. Oh, see, so that's the difference. Yeah. So when you make yours fresh with all fresh fruits, and it looks a little different. Yeah. It looks a little more yellow. That's yeah. because the when you get it typically in restaurants, bars, and what have you, they're using an artificial mix that has more of a white foamy color. Yeah. So uh, that's yeah. the difference. But when you get it fresh, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Let's put what a we little, got here? I'm gonna put a little pineapple. Now, I've already washed the pineapple, so make sure you wash your pineapple. You don't wanna put bugs in your drink. So that's okay. our tropical. Oh no, I'm not finished yet. I told y'all I was to get something. <laughs> we need a float. I've got to have some dark Caribbean rum. Oh, she's gonna do a floater, guys. If I can get this to float on top. Oh, 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 oh. This is gonna be real special. Oh no, that looks wrong. I should have had a spoon to float it, but that looks delicious though. So really you put a couple ounces on top. All right. So there we have our, we have our tropical pina colada. Tropical pina colada. All right. I'm excited. I'm ready for this one. Oh, let me get a straw. So you can stir up your uh, topper of Caribbean black rum or just drink it down. All right, then. Cheers. Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -mm, got a chocolate uh -oh. ice. Mmm. You taste the coconut? I can taste the coconut, taste the pineapple. Ooh, wait, that's delicious. I'm not talking about this, it's so good. I'm gonna take a little off the top so I can get some of that floater. Mm. Now that's good. So I just poured Ooh. it into a hurricane glass or these. Mm. I know you're one of these little monkey heads here. Or <laughs> my husband and I, we got these in Jamaica. And so I thought they were so cute. Mm. And so, you know. Yeah, well, I've got a coconut. You can put your drink in here. Let me pour you some in here. I just inserted a cup. Mm. It's a tropical pina colada. You want a little floater on this? No, I'm through with the floater, sir. <laughs> this one is uh, uh, pretty, ain't getting away from me. pretty potent. All right, here you go. Okay. Let me get me one. Oh, now see. So, so this is festive. Yeah. So Virgos, you know, celebrated up the um, tropical pina colada. Help you finish celebrating the warm mm. months, weeks that we have left before we go into the fall season. I'm going to put me a floater on mine. Ooh, that's Shoot. a big floater. No, you're not getting one now. <laughs> Try to act like you didn't want it. Too late. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. You gotta try this out. This is delicious. Mm. Oh, that floater. Get, 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 get that floater. Get you one in before the end of summer. And thanks for joining us. And happy birthday, Virgos. Happy birthday, Virgos, from Fancy Girl Drinks. Cheers. <laughs>